Hello and welcome to Kids Summit Baptism. Yes, um, my name is Emily Caldwell. I'm the Kids Summit coordinator here in Oak Ridge. And today is one of my favorite days in Kids Summit because this is a celebration. This is a celebration for your kids, your grandkids, your friends, but it's also a celebration for you guys. So we want you to cheer as loud as you can, get out of your seat, move around, whatever you need to do to celebrate. And I also wanted to let you know the um, service today is being recorded as well as we have a photographer. So feel free to just be in the moment. You don't have to worry about taking pictures. You don't have to worry about taking a video because that's all um, done for you. And then um, we are going to pray um, here in just a second. But I also, when we play the video in just a minute, I do want you guys to sit and pray individually for each child that you see come on the screen because today is the best yes day that they have had. So I want you, as each um, kid pops up on the screen, just sit quietly in your chair and pray for them, pray for their journey, um, and pray for them as they um, begin to follow Jesus. Um, so we're going to watch a quick video um, that has been put together of each of your kids. Um, and it makes me cry every time. So just um, sit back and enjoy um, this video. Yeah. 
So it's like I have to get myself together before I can talk because this day is super special. I think about my own child's baptism and I just, I'm overcome with emotion, but I know many of you, this is something you've been waiting for. It's something you've been praying for for a long time. And so it's a happy cry, even though I may not look as happy right now. So we are going to get started. If Fallon will come on out, or she's ready for me. There we go. Fallon, look at those goggles. That is awesome. All right, so this is Fallon, and I talked to her, and she told me a little bit about herself. Her favorite thing to do is color, and she likes taking ballet and tap. When she grows up, she wants to be an artist, and her favorite subject at school is art. Her favorite food is chicken pot pie, and she told me she's really looking forward to Tabby and Dee Dee being here to celebrate, and she really wanted to thank her mom and dad for helping her make this decision. Awesome. awesome. And speaking of dad, this is Brian, who is our groups and next steps pastor. So this is super special for him to be able to baptize his daughter. Fallon, is Jesus the Lord of your life? Yes. And do you want to get baptized today so you can let everyone here celebrating with you know about it? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. All right. My daughter, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. All right, next up is Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Alice, come on out. As they're making their way, Pastor Andy's going to come out. So I talked to Brooklyn and some of her favorite things. Her favorite food is mac and cheese. She loves her family, Jesus and God. Her favorite color is teal. She loves sweetest fish. She likes to swim and draw and sing and go to the beach, and she plays softball and when I asked her when she want, what she wanted to be when she grew up, she said, a veterinarian or a Broadway singer. <laughs> Can't decide. And she's really looking forward to being baptized. She is super excited for her family to watch as she accepts Jesus in her heart. That is super cool. Swedish fish. Mm, girl, I could eat a whole bag of those things. How about you? They're so good. So good. All right, Miss Brooklyn, two questions for you. Are you trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And you're ready to be baptized today, showing all these amazing people here that you're living for him. Awesome. I baptize you. No, nope, we're going to go backwards. Sorry. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yay! All right. Next up is Carson Cox. Carson, come on out. So Carson's favorite thing to do in his free time is play Roblox on his iPad. His favorite subject at school is math. His favorite food, he wasn't really sure, but he loves to dine out at Bravo. 
when he grows up, he wants to be a professional sports player, either soccer, basketball, or golf. And Carson told me he was really excited about today. He's ready to get baptized. Dude, you play golf? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, how far can you drive the ball? About 100. 100 yards? Wow, that's nuts. All right, dude, you ready to do this? Yeah. Look at all these people that came to see you do this. Isn't this cool? It's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Are you trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And you're ready to show the world that you're living for him, especially everybody here today through baptism? Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. And I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good job. All right. Next up is Ava Lucas. If Ava could... Yes, lots of clapping. Ava Lucas. All right. Her favorite thing to, in her free time is to color. Her favorite part of the school day is lunch. And her favorite food are the eggs that her mom makes. And when she grows up, she wants to be an archaeologist. She told me about the special shark tooth she found one time. That's so cool. You know that my favorite time at school was lunch, too. <laughs> we got a lot in common. Now, question for you. Do you pack your lunch or do you eat in the lunch cafeteria? Well, let's don't go swimming there. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, you pack. Okay. I got you. All right. Two questions for you. Are you trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Awesome. And you're ready to show the world that you're living for him through baptism? Yes. Awesome. It's my pleasure, my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, next up is Lucy. Lucy, come on out. All right, so a little bit about Lucy. Her favorite thing to do in her free time is to draw and color, specifically draw rainbows. Favorite food is homemade lasagna that her mom makes. Her favorite subject is music. And when I asked her what she wants to be when she grows up, she said a daycare teacher. Wow, that's really cool. Lasagna, huh? It's world famous. Mom makes that. Maybe one day I'll get some of that just to you know, drop a hint there to your mom. See, that's what God did to me because I was joking. <laughs> he made that mic go crazy. He's like, Andy, you don't need no lasagna. Okay. You ready to do this? Are you trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And you're ready to show the world that you're living for him through baptism? Awesome. Lucy, it's my pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yay! All right, next up is Ryan Jarvis. Ryan Jarvis, come on out. All right, so Ryan's favorite thing to do in free time is to play softball. Her favorite subject in school is history. Her favorite food is hamburgers. And when she grows up, she wants to be a college softball coach. She shared with me she's super excited to get baptized and do just the same thing her Savior did. Mm -hmm. What position do you play in softball? You do? My daughter played catching. That is so cool. All right, you ready to do this? Yes. Are you trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And you're ready to show the world you're living for him through baptism? Yes. It is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. Okay, next is Charlie. Charlie, you can come on out. All right, so Charlie's favorite thing to do in her free time is to play with friends and take her dog Buxton on a walk. Her favorite food is Salisbury steak that her mom makes. Her favorite subject in school is reading. When she grows up, she wants to be an artist or, her vet or a veterinarian, and she's super happy to have her family with her to see this. Your family's here, huh? Do you see them anywhere? They're right here. They're on the front row, overachievers. I think they didn't even leave for morning church. They just left, stayed here, and got the front row. You ready to do this? Awesome. Are you trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And you're ready to be baptized today? Awesome. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good job! All right, next up is Avery. Avery, come on out. 
All right, so Avery's favorite thing to do in her free time is to dance and ride her bike. Her favorite food is Chick-fil-A. Her favorite subject in school is math, and when she grows up, she wants to be a dancer, and she's super excited to get baptized. Hey, Chick-fil-A, chicken sandwich or chicken nuggets? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. What sauce? This is a really important question. Did you say ketchup? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe after you get baptized, that'll change or something. <laughs> Have you had the Chick-fil-A sauce? Girl, it's, it's, mm, it's dynamite. You give your life to Jesus all over again after Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm just saying. You ready to do this? I'm going to stop talking. All right. You're trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And you're ready to be baptized today. It's my pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good job, Papa. All right, next up is Austin. Austin, come on out. All right, so Austin's favorite thing to do in his free time is to read. He really loves the Wings of Fire series. Favorite food is chilies, and he's branching out and trying some new items there. And his favorite subject in school is lunch. And when he grows up, he wants to be a paleontologist. Mm. Another lunch. Special, I'm telling you, lunch is a good subject, isn't it? I see, I see family right over here. See, uh, they're over there. Waving at you. That's all. Okay. Are right, you ready to do this? Okay. Yeah. Are you trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Awesome. And you're ready to be baptized today? I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You did it. Good job. All right, next up is Austin's brother, Isaac. Isaac, come on out. Isaac's favorite thing to do in his free time is skateboard. Favorite colors are orange and red and blue. His favorite food is pepperoni pizza. And his favorite subject in school is art. And when he grows up, he wants to be a professional skateboarder. Professional skateboarder? You got to teach me some of that. Can you do that one day? Teach me how to skateboard? All right, you ready to do this? Uh, yeah. yeah. Are you trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And you're ready to be baptized today? Awesome. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good job! High five. All right, next up is Burke. Burke Pittman, come on out. All right, Burke's favorite thing to do in his free time is to run. He enjoys running. His favorite food is Waffle House. And his favorite subject in school is also lunch. He says it's always yummy. And when he grows up, he wants to be a DJ. His favorite song is X's and O's. Are you serious? You want to be a DJ? I was a DJ for 13 years. Did you know that? I know. See? You set your dreams high, buddy. You'd be a DJ. It's awesome. They're awesome. Can you dance good? You want to show everybody your moves real quick? No, really. Okay. <laughs> Me neither. Awesome. You ready to do this? Are you trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And you're ready to be baptized today? Uh-huh. Okay. Stand up. Tall and strong. There. There we go. My pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good job, Papa. All right, so that's the last one. So while they are changing and getting ready, I just want to talk to you a little bit about Kid Summit because some of you know about Kid Summit and some of you probably don't know about Kid Summit. And so I am the Kid Summit director. My name is Parker. And each week I get to spend an hour with your kiddos and you get all the rest of the time. But in that one hour, we try to pack as much as we can for them to learn about their Heavenly Father and who created them. And we want them to have fun learning about about their Heavenly Father. So we have worship time that's fun, and we play large group games with everybody, and, we, and then we go to small group, and we have these amazing volunteers that show up week after week to invest in our kiddos here and teach them 
about who Jesus is. And it's really kind of cool because I get to see all that every week. And it's really awesome. And it's, I'm, I love to be in the seat that I'm in. And then we know that today is kind of like the culmination of that. And it's, it may have been a decision they made a long time ago, but today is the day that we're putting a date on it, that we're saying that this is the day they made their public declaration. Even though that we know some of these kids, they may have gone to a small group leader or to a parent, and even some of them came to me and said, hey, I've accepted Jesus in my heart. I want to get baptized. And right then in that moment, we celebrate. And then we talk to them and we say, what's next is we want to talk to your parents about this. And we want to bring everybody together. And we have this class called We Believe. And so all these kids with their families attended the We Believe class. And in that class, we specifically take the verse John 3.16. Most of you probably know that verse. It's one of the most quoted verses in the Bible. And we talk about what that actually means, about how God loved and he gave what he gave us. And what we do in return is we believe, we trust, and we receive God's gift of eternal life in heaven. And so we break that down and really try to get the kids to kind of understand that, even though it's kind of difficult. And we send them home with some homework with their parents so they can talk about it more and make this decision with their families to become a follower of Jesus. And like I said, I am super fortunate that I get to kind of see all of this happen and see it click for these kiddos and be a part of this celebration. Again, we have one hour with them. And we're competing with some really cool stuff these days for kids, right? So they are intrigued by all the things that YouTube has and all of the cool gadgets and all of the technology. But in Kids Summit, the one thing that we have there that is not a part of that is we have volunteers who are passionate about showing up for these kiddos, that human connection, that that screen or any of that other stuff can give them. And so that is what we strive for each week is for our volunteers to show up and let these kids know that, hey, I'm here. I remember you. I'm excited to see you. I want you to have fun while you're here. And that's what we strive for each week is for them to keep coming back and having fun and for church to be this fun place where they can learn about their creator. And I have to say that that's the part that I kind of get to watch and see happen. It's really cool to get volunteers that get as excited to come in and do that week after week. And like I said, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the easy seat to get to see all that happen. So before Emily brings out the kiddos, um, I want to tell you, after this, we've planned a party. And that's what we want these kids to do. And parents, uh, I know sometimes you like to restrict their sugar intake, but not today. So there's a lot of sugar out there that they can indulge in, and then they can get rid of some of their energy. There's a bounce house, but on your table um, are things, everything that's on the table you can take home with you, because the other thing we want you to do is to celebrate this at home. I promise you, this is the biggest decision your child will ever make, and we want them to know that today is special, and remember this day forever. So there on your table is a small cake that you can take home and have tonight with your family after dinner or whenever you want to, maybe you want to pick another night this week. Um, there's a bag of some goodies, and, and I'll just warn you before the kids know, there's a, there's a confetti wand in there. There's, there's all kinds of things to have fun in that bag. So we want this to be super fun and super awesome. So let your kids indulge and have fun, and the rest of you do that as well. There is a photo op there. We'd love for you to take pictures as well to commemorate the day. And like Emily said earlier, we had a photographer here taking pictures, and all of this will be recorded, and I'll send you the link. And so you'll have it for years to come to look back on. And no, nobody's ready. So y'all get to listen to me talk some more, if that's all right. Um, so next steps for these kids. We will continue to talk to them in Kid Summit about what it means to be a follower of Jesus. Even though this is a one-day event and we celebrate really, really big about what today is, we also let them know that it's, it's not just about today. It's about that this, from this point forward, we want them to live and shine their light for Jesus. And so we kind of keep bringing that up in Kid Summit week after week so that they have this in their minds all the time. Now, I tell them regularly, I mess up. I mess up a lot, you know, like this morning, probably had some bad thoughts. Some things probably didn't go my way. And so we're real honest with them about what life is really going to be like and that it's not always going to be easy to be a follower of Jesus, but we also let them know that they can always come back at any point. They're never too far away from God's love and there's nothing they could ever do. So 
that is the part that we try to keep reiterating each and every week because we know that some weeks are going to be harder than others, and sometimes they're going to come in carrying a lot more on them than other weeks. So we're going to bring them out. We're going to have, like, uh, have them all line up so that we can get one really nice group picture of everybody, and then I will release them to y'all to go and celebrate this super awesome day. So if you all will stand up and give them a huge round of applause. Miss Emily is bringing them in. All right, guys, come on up, but we're going to be very careful right here. All right, so we're going to do that again and cheer really loud, and we are going to welcome the newest members of God's family. All right, guys, if you will, we're going to be very careful and go off this way, and we're going to find your family so they can be the first to congratulate you.